Vegas at the Diamonds in the Desert sale I'm here for a client looking to find actually a couple of horses for uh, them so it's been really interesting this is actually a really cool idea to have uh, some really quality horses a uh, little bit different speed since it's a more Western um, angle so uh, but nothing that we're not used to for me a good horse doesn't matter what kind of saddle is on so going through um, we were able to go and look at the horses yesterday, watch them all day, and then today is the auction. So we have kind of our top picks and kind of going through that process. What, what is your client looking for and what are you looking for in the horses? Uh, so we're looking for an overall type of horse, a safe horse. So for this uh, client, it needs to be something that no buck, you know, no bolt, uh, no rear, nothing like that. It's gotta be something that if they don't have time to ride it, um, it's still the same horse. So a really seasoned horse that, and a lot of these horses have been out on the ranch, they've been working, uh, they've had kids, they've riding them. And so just a really nice, good, safe horse. Um, and then you've got so many different types of horses here, which is cool, because you've got rainers, you have cutters, you've got, uh, ranch horses, you've got roping horses, and then there's horses that can do all the above. So it, it all depends, like my client kind of wants to do a little bit of everything, mounted shooting. Um, so the top horses that we have um, really kind of check those boxes. And then of course too, I'm looking for uh, soundness, making sure the horses are sound, they have good confirmation, they have good feet, you know, they're a pretty good easy keeper. Um, so all those things are kind of high on the priority list for for the, my client, and that's kind of my my job is to do be a matchmaker and really find a horse that's going to fit and it's going to be a lifelong partner. It's kind of daunting because there's 70 plus horses I had to kind of sift through, and we we came up with our kind of list of horses, which was around 20, I think, around there of horses that we like so then we had to go through the process of kind of narrowing down that list and in the uh, kind of framing it um, to the type of horses that we wanted so since we're hopefully getting a couple of horses we wanted to really kind of bracket them and to pick out our top picks and um, so yesterday we were able to watch the horses do some work so they did anywhere from roping to cutting to then we were also able to watch them do a three minute kind of uh, show, showing the horses what they could do. Uh, it was really nice to see the versatility. So I was able to watch most of the horses all day long and I was able to be like, mm, that horse got a little bucky or that horse is a little too hot for my client. Or so I was really able to watch and kind of for me, I really like to, watch the trainers and the horses when they're not showing. So going and standing and watching how they're working the horses. Are they working those horses a lot? Like to get them quiet. Um, and just little subtle things, just walking through and just keeping an eye on, on that all, literally all day. Um, so it was really good to have that access. And we were also able to, if you wanted to, you could get on the horses and ride them. It is nice to be able to have that opportunity to sit on the horses before they go through the auction so you kind of really know what you're getting. And you talk to the trainers too. Uh, yes. So you have, you know, they really encourage, um, even before coming here, to talk to the trainers, go and visit the horses. Um, you know, they really, they push that in the, in the diamonds for the desert sale to really, they, they want this to be a good match for the horses, the trainers. You know the um, organization they really want this to be a good fit so um, they go above and beyond I feel as far as uh, being kind of a, a top sale like I wish we had 
something similar like this, which we they do over in Ireland, but I think in the States for eventing horses and stuff, I think it'd be really cool to have something similar. Okay, so our top three, kind of, they're, they're a little bit different flavors. So we've got um, one of, they're, they're favorites in, in different ways. So we've got uh, number 71, which is Moonshine. Um, he is a dark Palomino, so that horse, uh, he can do reining, roping, um, he's got tricks, and he's just a really good looking horse. Um, can shoot off of him. He's a little bit more of the flashier type, and um, so he's one of our top picks. Our second top pick is number 24, which is Buckeye's Tuxedo Tux. He is a Frisian Percheron. He's a really big, big uh, horse. He does tricks as well, and but literally anyone in the family can ride him. Like. A baby or your grandma or like he is he was super quiet very chill all day long um, and then the third of our top horses was number 53 which is Dylan and he I don't know he's such such a cool horse that he's a ranch horse through and through he again he's had kids riding on him super solid horse um, he could literally do anything you wanted him to so uh, he's kind of like a dark bay and then we have the black region and then we have the dark palomino so a nice nice mix of horses and uh all seem really quiet easy keepers and that's kind of what my client's been looking for do you have a strategy going into the auction today how do you get them uh, well you have to Bring really sit home. down and have a plan with with the client and kind of what exactly they want to spend like uh going into an auction you really have to have a, a plan of how much you really want that horse and and to be willing to say no um, and so just that's kind of what we we sat down and hashed out and then this morning I just came through to do another once over of the horses to make sure I have all my information and um, it, you never quite know in an auction you know so you just don't know <laughs> who really wants the horse and how much they're willing to spend and it's it's really kind of fun and exciting but can be a little daunting too and you have some experience uh, thanks to the mustangs yes so i have um been in the auction scenarios with when i did the million the mustang million so in getting rune and nim at that time we had to uh go through that kind of process and narrowing down horses and figuring out priorities and then you know again bracketing kind of what you're willing to spend on the horse and um, but I mean there's so many nice horses here it was really hard to kind of narrow it down but I think we've got our top ones and so we're gonna see if we can get them Be here you had to have a good horse good video good pictures and and put everything in a timely fashion that was the first hoop they had to go through the second thing they had to go through is we had to look through all those videos and we started picking the horses from them videos and, and looking at all those things. Then them horses were nominated, we took 75 head. Uh, we've been previewing these horses since August. We've been all over uh, the social media, uh, Western Horsemen, it's been all over in different uh, publications, Rodeo News. We started uh, the first day with the SIP process. And the SIP process is a very rigorous process. We looked at their eyes, we checked their feet, we saddled them up. Any of the horses you don't see on in the cell today, at some point in line we had some misfortune on some, we had some horses that were uh, hurt before they got here, we had a few things, uh, owners didn't feel like they were suitable to be here, so uh, we went ahead and, and scratched those horses. So we got 66 head here today, and they've been put through it. I'm super impressed with my consigners, um, they have integrity, they're going to stand behind these horses. We're gonna guarantee them, they're gonna guarantee them to be exactly like they say they're gonna be when you get them home, and they're gonna stand behind them 150%. So for you as a buyer, I think that's what our goal was, is to create a create confidence in you so you can come and buy with us with confidence and know that you're gonna get what, uh, what you paid for. Drifter. 
So interestingly enough, as auctions go, kind of our top uh, horses went out of our budget, just uh, a little too high. And this horse was on our list. He was pretty equivalent to uh, the horse number 53, Dylan. And uh, he was a nice, big, uh, quiet horse. He has a big dun, had some really cool markings, good feet on him. Uh, just seemed like a really nice horse. And um, so we... Uh, decided that we would go ahead and bid for him and uh, you can see here I kind of go through the process uh, with I had my client on the phone but it was really kind of hard to hear and one thing too is to make sure that you have kind of like your cap that you're willing to spend on each horse and then to always make sure that you know I had to ask myself can I uh, find another horse uh, so you don't get kind of caught up into the emotional parts of it but we did manage to walk away getting this guy and uh, I think it's going to be a really nice horse for my client and we had a really great time uh, at the Diamonds in the Desert sale and I'm really excited for uh, my client and his new horse.